There's a whole lot more to having a website than just building it and putting it on a web hosting account. You need to pay attention to it and see how users are experiencing your website. And that's how you're going to deliver the best experience for your website visitors, as well as reduce the bounce rate when you're understanding why people come to your website, the frustrations they experience and why they leave. Now, there are expensive services that you can get that's going to help you have deeper insights into how people are experiencing your website. For example, here's one of the most popular well-known ones. It's called Hotjar. And this allows you to collect these insights of how people are experiencing your website. And you can see just the pricing right here. It's quite expensive. But on this channel, we try to find smarter ways to do things at, that would be absolutely free. And here that is right here. It's called Microsoft Clarity. Yes, it's a service that is completely free and it's provided to you by Microsoft. And it's very simple to add to your website and it's going to to help you better understand how people are using your website so that you can improve the website experience for your visitors. So it's going to record user sessions on your website and allow you to play those back. They're also going to use all of that to create heat maps. I'll show you what that looks like. It's going to compile this data into insights and give you a really lightweight analytics style dashboard that you can get some insights from. Here's what that dashboard will look like. Now, this is not a replacement for Google Analytics. I'm going to suggest you run them together if you want to capture these types of insights on your website. But this is what a active website will end up looking like right here. You're going to see total sessions. And some of this is just the same data you're going to get from Google Analytics. Pages perception, uh, per session, you're going to get scroll depth. That's how far someone made it down on your page. The engagement time. Now, here are three things that are going to give you that deeper insight dead clicks. This is when a user is clicking on something and it's not a clickable element. So this is going to really help you deliver a better website experience. And you can actually see the recordings when dead clicks occur as well as range clicks. This is when something is so tiny to click and someone's clicking around it before they actually click on it. So that's range clicks. That's going to give you some insight as well. Excessive scrolling is another metric here so that you can better lay out the pages on your websites. And then we have some other analytic style data down here, such as your popular pages, where the traffic's coming from, the browsers, devices, operating systems, and also the countries of your website visitors. Now there's some tabs up here. We've got the recordings tab right here and this will be the recordings and you can actually play back exactly what happened when someone is on your website and each of these represents something that you can play back. So here's one. It was a 40 second session on the website and we can see exactly what happens, what they were moving their mouse, what they clicked on, everything. And there's also this handy toggle switch right here that says skip in activity. It will make it way more practical to view these recordings and you can view recordings and get some insight out of it and so this is available here we also have heat maps and this is going to generate a map and there'll be different colors and this will show you the focus points that the website visitors are focusing on on your page and it just overlays your page right here so these are the areas uh, here on the top right and the buttons and so you can further get some more insights here. But what's nice is you could get it for tablet device visitors as well as mobile device visitors. Now, what I think is most useful is when you're on the dashboard here and this is compiled data. So if you want to see those dead clicks, you can click on recordings right here and Clarity is going to automatically put those recordings together so you can see what's the problem. So we could take a look here and we can see what is this user clicking on and there's nothing there. Uh, here's one example. There was another one here that was really good where they were just clicking on the logo up here on the top right where it said clarity and it wasn't doing anything. It actually probably just refreshes the page. So you have those insights here as well. And you can see they're clicking in this one on a frequently asked question. So you have this insight 
right here as well. This is pretty cool, right? And you can't complain with the cost of it being free and there's no limit of sessions. You already saw that there's competing services that are as much as starting at $99 per month and the price is going up. So this is something that we are gonna easily add to our website right now to get it going and creating an account. Now this is not meant to replace Google Analytics even though this has a degree of analytics in it. Of course, that's entirely up to you. I would suggest when you want to capture this data to see what people are doing on your website to insert the code, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, to your website and have that run alongside of your Google Analytics code. Now, of course, you probably have GDPR concerns. You might also have speed of your website concerns. It's not gonna slow down your website, and there are I think it, the website said 100 million sessions tracked per month. So the platform can handle whatever can be thrown at it. And it, it doesn't slow down your website. So it might add like a tiny fraction of a fraction of a second to the fully loaded time, but your website visitor wouldn't experience anything like that. So for them, their experience is gonna be business as usual on your website. Now, right now is a good time to smash the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell if you want WordPress tutorials like this for non-techies. Okay, now let's get this added to our website. First thing you need to do is create a free account. It took me one second, I connected it to my Google account, and then we need to create a project for our website. This is gonna be your dashboard. You'll just click right here where it says add new project. Give the project a name, enter the website address, and you can choose a site category if you want to. Uh, well, actually it's gonna make you do that, but uh, this is not really meaningful at all. So don't worry if you set the wrong thing. Now I've already gone ahead and added my website. Now after it's created, you're gonna be taken to the setup and you're gonna be given this tracking code. This is what you need to add to your website. Now it's also important to note that you can integrate this with your Google Analytics to really get even better and deeper insights on your website. Here is the instructions for integrating it that way. And you can actually integrate this with any platform. So right here it says install tracking code on a third party platform. And here's gonna be instructions on all of these different platforms that are available. But we're going to install this on WordPress. So click right here where it says copy to clipboard. And now it's in your clipboard, this script. And here I am on my WordPress admin dashboard. Now there's multiple ways to add these to your website. So if you're using Google Tag Manager, you could do that. If you have a professional version of your WordPress theme like I have, you can add it there as well and it's gonna give you some greater control. So I happen to be using the Cadence theme and uh, there's a feature called Elements. So when I go right here to Elements, you can see it's right here. And I went ahead and added a new element and I pasted that script in, I just named it Clarity. Now what's nice, if you have a professional theme that allows you to add code like this, you get to decide when and where it's actually used. So if you only want to record when someone's not logged in or when someone is logged in or on certain parts of your website, you get that ability if you have a pro theme. I'm using Cadence Pro right here. So I would choose my placement for the display settings. I'm gonna show this on the entire website, but this is where you could choose exactly where you want this to load. And then for user settings, I chose all users. And uh, that is how I have it set up here. Now, of course, not everybody has a pro theme or has a theme with an ability to put these scripts in. So there's a free plugin that you can add in. You'll be able to do it in two seconds. So you're going to want to go to plugins, click on add new, and the name of the plugin is header and footer scripts. And here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Now this is going to add a new menu item under settings that says header and footer scripts. So I'll go in there and it says scripts in the header. You'll just want to paste that script in like that and then click on save settings and boom, you are done. So I just gave you three ways to add this to your website, Google Tag Manager. The ideal way in my mind is if you 
have a pro theme such as Cadence Pro, you could do it that way. Other pro themes end up having that element style feature as well. So you could just do, use whatever you got if you got it or using a free plugin. Now, after you add that, it takes a few hours to get propagated and kicked in. So you're not gonna see any data for a few hours, as well as there's a little bit of a delay on those recorded sessions. So if it happens right now, you're not gonna be able to see it for maybe 30 or 40 minutes. So there's a little bit of a delay to actually see those. And lastly, a bit of advice. It's it's completely up to you if you want to run this all the time or just run it on certain portions of your website so you can see how users are interacting with it or if you are coming out with say a new page layout and you just want to run it on that page or just collect some data when you do something different on your website or maybe you have a very high bounce rate that you're seeing in Google Analytics and you want to see what is happening. This is going to be ideal in all those situations. So it's up to you whether you want to leave it running all the time or just run it some of the time. But I can probably guarantee one thing, using this on your website, you're going to uncover some insight into how people are using your website that you're going to be able to take action on and improve the experience people have on your website. So my name's Adam. That's all I have for you today. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, have a question, you can ask it down below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.